you guys we are in Tokyo Japan I am so excited to be here yesterday was so exhausting trying to get here after a 12 plus hour flight just trying to navigate where to go man that was tough but we made it today is our first full day in Tokyo we'll be going to Shibuya and Harajuku I'm gonna get ready now we're gonna exchange some money get some breakfast and head to Shibuya <laughs> Right now we're at my Yoshida Park. We are taking a break because my back hurts and it's so warm out here. It just, it feels like it's the springtime. I brought my jacket just in case because I get a little cold sometimes. There goes the train. Moment. Yeah, it's very warm outside. I am starting to sweat. So I'm like, okay, let me just take a break. <laughs> put on some chapstick, drink some water, put on some deodorant. We'll be on our way soon. Nearby. I'm surprised about the amount of people that are here. It's just so 
crowded. Like everywhere is just so crowded. Even at 10 a.m. when we were taking the subway to um, Shibuya Station, it was so crowded. It's like Times Square, but like on steroids. <laughs> You're shoulder to shoulder with a lot of people. It's crazy. And now we're on our way to our last destination. We completed our itinerary and then we'll be getting some udon noodles. calories today we were walking so much I had muscle pain my feet was hurting my back my neck I was just not having it and along with that you know there's jet lag so I was getting really tired and my eyes was feeling a little heavy so I took a shower I'm like okay let me just take a bath and I felt a little bit better you know it was relaxing the hot water felt really good on my muscles, so I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm also wearing this nightgown again because it felt so comfortable. I brought like maybe two or three t-shirts to wear to bed, but forget about those. This is comfy. For dessert, I am having a mango smoothie and a Belgian waffle. This one is a 50% less carb waffle. Looks good. It's only 163 calories. This smoothie tastes so good good i feel like every night i'm gonna go to some 11 i'm gonna enjoy it because you guys know our 11s are just not like the ones here in japan i believe this 7-elevens in south korea is the same way they have smoothies they have sandwiches they have ice creams they have noodles i mean it's just so nice well it's almost 8 p.m but i am exhausted from today i'm gonna finish up my smoothie brush my teeth lay down and fall asleep Tomorrow is a new day and there's going to be lots, lots of walking, so I need to get prepared.
idea that we have to pay in order to go to the park, to the Shijuku Garden. And it costs 500 yen, which is three dollars, three US dollars. But I was not about to pay that because that's a train ride for us. <laughs> and I just filled up my um, Suica card. So we found this like side area where you can walk, sort of like a Central Park. And it's free 99. And it feels like we're at the park. Doesn't it look like we're at the park? Yeah, it does. <laughs> So, yeah, in order to get in, you have to pay in the front. And you can see that there's, like, there's a gate here. So, you can't just walk through. And a lot of people are walking here, you know. The rest of us, they don't want to pay $3 to get inside the park. But, uh, yeah, we're just walking, relaxing. And soon we'll go to a cafe. Toyusu Gari, Garuri Park area. We're a little early for our team lapse uh, reservation. It's around 11-ish and we have to line up around 12. So we just wanted to waste some time and we found this really nice area. Look at it. This reminds me of like the Hudson River area where Jersey City meets New York City and like the area in Maryland, um, Inner Harbor, it reminds me of this area, but it's really pretty, it's quiet. This is like a place where you can jog, you know, walk your dog. There's a whole bunch of apartment complexes, but I could see myself living in Tokyo. I said the same thing when I went to Dubai <laughs> and Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, but I mean, this is such a nice area. It's quiet, it's clean, and I feel very safe. I've been walking around with my camera like around my neck, and there was, at no point where I felt unsafe. This is such a nice area. Even in Shijuku where we're staying, it's really nice. Um, but yeah, we're just killing some time walking around, taking some pictures before we go back to Team Labs.
inside here to look at the swinging shirts for you guys, so now we're leaving. <laughs> my train experience i was on the train about 10 minutes ago and i've never experienced something like that before usually when you're waiting on the platform right and the train comes and you see it's crowded you don't push your way inside the train because it's just too tight so you wait for the next train mm -mm. people are like oh yeah i'm going home i'm going home now um and they just push their way inside the train they had their backs to everyone and they just like pushed themselves on the train and I got pushed away and I was in, in I was in the middle so I couldn't even hold on to the handle luckily a lot of people had their mask on so I couldn't smell anyone's breath so I did want to show you guys some of the masks that I got yesterday at the discount store um, while we were in Shinjuku these were a hundred yen which is super super cheap and then the Vaseline one was 150 yen but I got a vitamin C and citrus mask, pore tight mask, uh, let's see, vitamin A, collagen, calming amino acid, tea tree, what's this one, amino acid with lotus extract, vitamin C, and then I found these masks. I have never seen a Vaseline mask ever before. And I have, it's funny, <laughs> I have Vaseline right here, but I've never seen the Vaseline sheet mask. They definitely don't have it at Target or CVS or any of the stores I usually shop at. I'm going to keep the Vaseline mask for myself and then give some to other people as gifts. <laughs>
trying the strawberry candy. And it tastes really good. It's like hard when you bite into it, but then when you chew it, it just tastes like a regular strawberry. So we just finished with the rickshaw ride and it was so much fun. Thank you Taku for the ride. I highly, highly recommend it. We did for two people, 30 minute. It was 10,000 yen, so about $70, $35 per person. I really enjoyed it and he took really great pictures, but now it is time for fun. Trying to find a barbecue place where we can cook chicken instead of beef. It's usually beef that they cook, but um, we want to cook our own chicken or fish, anything but beef. So, I'm trying to find a restaurant right now. destination which is uni park um it was pretty interesting because while we were lined up to get into the the restaurant that we just went to two older ladies came up to me and they were like looking at my hair i have no idea what they said but they seemed really nice maybe they were just like "Ooh, your brights look really cool <laughs> but they were friendly it was it was it was cute though <laughs>
are in Kabukicho, Shinjuku for our ninja experience. What time is it? It's 10.37. Our activity starts at 11 a.m. So we're gonna get there, look around, kill some time before we get started. done being ninjas this was so much fun the link to all the activities that i show in this vlog from part one and part two will be in the description box down below so you can book but we found this experience on airbnb and i highly highly recommend it it was so much fun we had like an own private lesson um they were so nice we took so many pictures it was so much fun and they gave us as we left they give us like little i forgot the name of this It'll be on the screen, but we were using the real ones in there. But yeah, they gave us some plastic ones as a gift. But I highly, highly recommend this. This is in the Kabukichu Shinjuku area. Very nice. It's called the Shinjuku Sports Gym Ninja Experience.
came in this door called GU just to use the bathroom. And we found some clothes, I mean, for cheap. I mean, sweaters that would cost normally $40 to $50 is $6 here. Let me show you guys. You see this sweater right here? Look, it's thick, right? It's nice. This would cost maybe around $30, $40 at H&M or Zara. This is $6. $6. Oh, I'm going shopping. I am going shopping. Something like this would never cost $6. Never. Maybe like at least $25, but never $6. So I will be shopping a wretched. <laughs> show you guys what I got at that clothing store first I got this sweater it's really cute and it only cost about six dollars it was on sale this was on sale for thirteen dollars and then I got this sweater it feels really good and soft this was on sale for five dollars can you believe all of this and then my husband got a couple of things here he got a black cardigan a dark blue sweatshirt and two white crew neck t-shirts and everything on together was $52 I mean this alone would have been like $30 or maybe like $25 $30 cause this feels really good it feels thick I honestly wasn't looking for anything we just wanted to use the bathroom and we saw the sweaters on sale we're just like oh my gosh yeah we have to get these. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. taken so many pictures and videos but I am getting very very cold I had to put on my gloves because it's so cold outside and I have the sniffles but it's so pretty to see wow this is beautiful imagine waking up to this so nice you guys saw that we had our second matcha tea ceremony class and it was bitter it was so bitter everyone made that face like <laughs> but yeah, we are at our first stop by Kagawichi. How do you pronounce it? Kagawichi? Kagawachi Lake? It'll be on the screen. I think I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. <laughs> I don't remember. I think it's Kagawichi. I'm pretty sure it's Kagawichi. Kagawachi. <laughs> are you going to look it up now? <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, we're at our first stop. We are back 
on the bus. We're the first ones back. We still have about 20 minutes here, but it is too cold outside. It's 23 degrees and we are shaking. <laughs> We're just trying to get warm. But it's really pretty out there. We took a couple of pictures, but I'm too cold. Our next stop is a village nearby. There's gonna be 20 plus restaurants where we can sit down, go inside and get warm because I am a little hungry. Um, but it was really nice being here. The view is amazing, but I couldn't go too far. I was just, we were literally just walking around the souvenir shop because it's, it's too cold, we wanted to get warm. So yeah, we're just waiting. We're just waiting for everyone to come back and we'll see you guys at our next stop. So we are in a bit of a pickle. We arrived at the village and we have like an hour here, but we don't have cash. We ran out and we were hoping that we could use a card, credit card, but none of these places accept credit cards and we're starving. So we're trying to figure out what to do. They don't know where an ATM is. We're just walking around. Um, find a lost in somewhere? Yeah. Okay. We found a Lawson, kind of like a 7-Eleven. We're going to see if we can exchange money in there. But this was a big mistake. If you come to Mount Fuji, you go on one of these tours, make sure you have cash. So now we are walking back to the bus. We ate outside Lawson. The food was pretty good. It's so unfortunate that this happened. We couldn't even look around the village. Um, got a couple of footage, but um, yeah. So now we're walking back and we grabbed some dessert we can have on the bus, which is this. I got this before, it's actually my third time getting it on this trip, but this is the mini Hagen dazs strawberry ice cream. We'll see you guys back on the bus.
done eating the margarita pizza was so good i just wanted to have something a bit different because i've been having a lot of ramen noodles rice and dumplings so just wanted to try something a little bit different for lunch now we're gonna go back to gaming oh my gosh the music ones are so much fun um but yeah we're gonna right now we're gonna try to find a different place to play some games wasted a hundred yen on that game because I didn't understand how to play it it was all in Japanese I was really struggling so I just wasted my money so now we're gonna go back to the place that we went to when we first got here called game panic they did have an English menu which made it a little bit easier and I I enjoyed the games over there so now we're gonna go back 